Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech and in today's video I will share top 5 must have iPhone apps to download so as to enhance your iPhone experience. Now as you know, this is an ongoing series so make sure to check the description box below to find more top iPhone app videos and of course you will find the app download links for this video in the description box as well. Alright, let's dive in and start discovering. The first app I would like to talk about is called Share Square App, which is a contacts manager and comes with a brilliant twist. It allows you to share your contacts with other people via QR codes and also get contact info from other people via their QR codes. You basically scan the QR code and everything transfers over to your phone. And of course, this means you do not have to type in the contact details manually. Now everything is managed via the ShareSquare app. Let me do a quick demonstration on this so you can get the idea. So here's the main screen and here's the profiles that I have on my phone. So these are the profiles that I myself set up. So I have a profile for Saki Tech, for personal, for professional, uh, for anonymous, and another Saki Tech that I just added for testing purposes. Now if I scroll back up and if I tap on Saki Tech, it's going to give me a QR code. So what happens here is, uh, anybody that scans this QR code using the ShareSquare app is going to transfer the Saki Tech contact information from this phone to their phone. And what's in Saki Tech is uh, anything that you add into it. So if I tap on edit over here, I can tap on Saki Tech and from here I can edit that contact. Okay, and you can create unlimited contacts and unlimited QR codes for all your contacts if you so desire. And like I said, all you do is you tell the other person to download and install ShareSquare app on their iPhone or Android phone and they can come and scan this over here. Let me show you how that works by bringing in another phone. Now just to make a point, I'm going to bring in an Android phone instead of an iPhone so you can see how ShareSquare works uh, across both iOS and Android in a unified fashion. So here's my Android phone that is also running ShareSquare app. So what I'm going to do is just to demonstrate is uh, tap on this Saki Tech profile. So all you do is you tap scan, then you grab the phone and you make sure that the QR code is somewhere in the middle of this uh, viewfinder. And once it scans it, it's going to ask you, do you want to save to your ShareSquare contacts list? What you do is you give it a name. So let's say ST and then click yes and that's going to save the contact in your phone. And then if I tap on this, as you can see, it has transferred all the information that is usually sitting uh, in my Saki Tech profile on this phone. It just transferred over this, uh, this one. And of course, vice versa is also possible. That's the whole point of ShareScore app, so you can scan back and forth. And of course, let's say you were out in a business meeting or you were hanging out with some new friends, uh, you can also tell them to download the ShareScore app so you can give them any contact that you need to give them using this fantastic application. All right, guys, let's move on to the next app. All right, so next up, let's talk about a full and complete professional photo editor that just came out recently by Google themselves. So if I go in here to apps and if I, if I launch Snap Speed, you're going to see this thing. It says tap anywhere to open a photo. You tap on it. And then let's just pick any photo in that's sitting in my... Um, uh, images. Let's just pick this one over here, a photo of a taillight of a car. And if I click edit here, what you are going to immediately notice is just how many tools and filters you have and how much in depth you can go. Now, I'm not going to go into all these things, but as you can see, you can add all these filters. You can add things like lens blurs. If I tap this, it's going to give me the option to create a lens blur and I can save that and I can also adjust that. But what I want you guys to do is I want you to go to download Snap Speed and just play with it yourself. Again, this is a full and complete professional photo editing tool. It's got a simple interface, but you can certainly deep dive into photos and perform some amazing edits. And the best part is, just like ShareSquare, this one is also free. So let's move on to the next app. All right, the next app I'm going to talk about is called Hello Weather. Let's launch this really quick. Again, this is another weather application, but it's really unique in its presentation. So basically, that's all you get. Of course, you can add more locations if you so desire, but basically, it gives you a quick summary of what's happening right now, what's going to happen in the next few hours, 
and also what's going to happen this week. And of course, if you tap on each one of these, it gives you some more details. And of course, all these are very useful details. If I tap on this one more time, it goes back and over here, I can swipe over and it gives you even more information for later hours. So you can swipe back and forth. Now, if at the bottom, it says this week. So it gives you a breakdown of what's going to be happening this week. And again, if you swipe over or tap on it, it's going to explain in text format so you get a, even a better idea of what to expect uh, this week. All right. Just a really fantastic, simple and user friendly interface. And of course, if you tap this over here, you can add more locations. You can tap on plus and you can choose another another location, another country, another city, state, uh, whatever. And if I go back here, if you go into settings now, this is free to get, but you can actually join the fan club. OK, and it's not that expensive. But once you join the fan club, you can enable the night mode and also the secret experimental mode that I've never seen so far, but that's up to you if you want to join the fan club. All right, so fantastic little application. Let's move on to the next app. All right, the next app I would like to talk about is called Annotate. Now, this is a fantastic photo annotation utility that works quickly and flawlessly. So when you launch this, the first thing that comes up is the camera. So you can take a picture of a camera and start to annotate immediately. But what else you can do is you can tap this icon, which is going to take you into the image library. So let me go. Let me go to the camera roll, and you simply pick a picture. Let's again pick this picture over here, and then you can start working on that picture after you crop it. So let's crop it, and let's pick a color. Let's uh, go by this uh, blue color here, okay? And let's uh, draw an arrow. So I can draw an arrow, and then I can let's say write something down here. So I can say spoiler. And then I can drag and drop this over here. OK, so very quick and easy way to annotate. And of course, there's no limits. So I can even add a sticker. So let's uh, tap on that sticker, uh, pick something like that. There we go. So not too bad. And once your annotation is complete, you tap this icon here and you can share this picture with whoever you want using any form you desire. All right. Fantastic application. Let's move on to the next app. All right, so the next application is called Pimp Your Screen. So let's launch this and see what it does. Uh, let's go right inside it. And as you can see, it is a wallpaper application. What you want to do is you want to go into a category. Okay, you just pick a category. You can go by popular, wallpapers, themes, minimal, abstract, whatever. Let's just tap on abstract. And it's going to bring up a bunch of wallpapers. You can swipe through different wallpapers. And if there's one that you like, you simply click Save. And that saves the picture into your photos from wherein you can set it as your wallpaper. Now, one thing I like about this app is if you tap on the screen, it actually gives you a preview of how the wallpaper will look underneath the apps. So as you as you swipe around, you can also get a preview and download the proper uh, wallpaper that actually makes sense to have behind all these applications. Again, if you tap this button, you can go to other menus. You can go to science fiction, for example. And there you go. OK, so let's say I want to use this one over here. All I do is save. I click OK and then go back out, go to the photos, uh, go into the camera roll, tap on this thing and just set is as set, set is as a wallpaper uh, as usual. Use as wallpaper, still set, set home screen. And there we go. Fantastic. Very simple to use straight to the point. And of course, it's free to grab. All right, so that's the end of the video. And of course, you will find the app download links in the description box below, as well as even more top iPhone app video links. So go ahead and check those out. Now, this is an ongoing series, so make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for more app and tech videos to come. And do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Have a fantastic day.